You know, for a guy who's been at the talk radio game now for nearly 12 years, you'd think I would know what's coming. But every once in a while, I get a real surprise. Today, half tongue-in-cheek, we were doing a story about a, a movement down in South Florida that is going nowhere to break Florida into two states divided right through the middle, right through the Orlando area, North Florida and South Florida. South Florida would become the 51st state. Had to do with folks who thought that Tallahassee's not given South Florida enough attention on global warming, so if they became their own state, they're low-lying, they're worried about rising seas, global warming, and all of that nonsense, then they would be able to deal with that as their own state entity. Well, of course, it's not going to happen, but we talked about it, we had a great debate going. And then all of a sudden, I says, listen, I, I would make the cut a lot farther south, maybe somewhere around Miami, and just let South Florida go. Of course, I'm thinking about the Miami area that is riddled with crime and drugs and that whole part of the state that is so vastly different. It's really in so many ways vastly different than the rest of the state of Florida. Well, I got a phone call from a very indignant caller out of Winter Springs and a gal who essentially accused me of being anti-Hispanic, even though that issue never came up. And I just got absolutely hammered by Anna, who's Hispanic, even though I never mentioned that I want to cut South Florida loose because I don't like all the Hispanics down there. It never even came up, and it's not even something I was thinking about. But the really good news and the second surprise in this segment, which is what makes this job so interesting and challenging and frankly fun to do most of the time, was that I had a whole bunch of callers just all of a sudden fire up on the 50,000 watt front porch and circle the wagons and defend the Bud Man. And it was really kind of interesting to hear how the whole thing went. It was just a simple little segment, tongue-in-cheek, that turned into something pretty serious and um, hopefully pretty listenable, because that's kind of why we do this, to give you something worth listening to. And we hope you find it that way five mornings a week on Bud Hedinger Live from 6 until 9, right here on the 50,000-watt front porch. Your seat is reserved. Catch you next time right here on News Radio 1025 WFLA. Look for you then.